Hey guys, what's up? Let's talk. Elizabeth Hurley, you know, Liz Hurley. Some of you may know her. She is this British actress. She is starring in this movie called Strictly Confidential. Now, the movie is about a young woman seeking to uncover the truth of her friend's suicide. Okay, it's some, it doesn't sound bad, right? Not too bad, right? <laughs> But the thing is, Damien Hurley is her son. He's the director and the writer. Okay, he's 21 years old. She is 58 years old. So viewers are slamming this movie. They're calling it shameful. They're calling it perverse. They are disgusted by it. You guys, the movie has a lot of sex scenes. And the director is the son. Her own son was directing her on what to do during these sex scenes. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with these weirdos? They are trying to normalize their sick mess, their sick rituals. They are into the occult. These people are just sick. Before I go off on these two freaks, I want to read what she said about the movie. So she was talking about the movie and she said this. It's relaxing knowing someone's behind the camera who looks out for you. Which was the same on this movie in a way. Because the things that his script needed me to do in this weren't necessarily always done in movies many times before. But having him there meant I felt safe and looked after. It's kind of liberating to work with your family. I may do it again. Liberating, huh? <laughs> Liberating. Working in a erotic thriller B-list movie with your son who directed your sex scenes, who wrote the sex scenes for you because he said that they made each other a promise when he writes his first movie, she will star in it. So he had her in mind the whole time writing this disgusting movie and i'm so happy that people are pushing back so happy they are not having it we are not having it with you freaks freaking weirdos let me tell you what this weirdo her son said we felt in our comfort zone is very strange i think also when you're on an independent film you have 18 days to shoot Every single second counts. You can't sit around mulling scenes thinking what if. It was a joy to come to work and tackle each day together. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Look at him. Look at her. Look at him. Look at her. They look strange. They just look, I don't know. Like, he looks... He looks transgender. He looks like a girl. He could be a girl. You never know with Hollywood because they do start these process at birth. Sometimes in the womb, they will start the whole trans thing in the womb. Yeah, I'm telling you. You guys need to do your research. These people are not who they say they are. They are not who you think they are. They are liars. They live a fake life. They are part of the beast system. Their reality is not the same as ours. The things that they do, the things that they have to do, the things that they have done, the things that they have done to get to where they are. These people are not happy. These people are hooked on drugs, alcohol, just to get by. Because they know what they're doing is wrong. They know what they're doing is disgusting. They know if the world were to find out, they would not be idolized anymore. They would be hated and they don't want that. That is why they do it in secrecy. That is why people, if people were to find out what these freaks are really about, when I tell you, Their support would be gone. And that day is coming. You know how I know? The Bible tells us. That's how I know. Okay? Their day are coming. So, do not envy these people. 
what they have, all the money that they have, will be gone. No need to envy these people. All they have is money. They don't have anything else. All they have is money. They are poor. All they have is money. The billionaires that you see, they will lose everything. They will. So do not envy these people. Do not follow these people. Do not idolize these people. They are not normal people. They are soulless. They are morally bankrupt. There's nothing to envy. These people are actually ugly inside and out. Yeah, makeup and all that can, you know, illusions. But these people strip them off their makeup, the airbrushing and all that, the plastic surgeries. They are ugly people. So don't idolize these people. What are you idolizing? The fake image? The fake persona? Come on. They're not better than you. Only difference is they are famous. Only difference is they did a lot of nasty ish to get to where they are. Only difference is they were born into the system, the beast system. So they're not more talented than you. Hell, Liz Hurley is not a good actress. Everyone is saying she's not a good actress. I've never watched any of her movies. I don't even get her hype. I don't get her hype. She's famous for dating these Hollywood men. That's what she's famous for. And in some ugly dress uh, with pens, I guess. When I look at the picture, I'm like, this is the dress that she people were going crazy over. Like, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> they say she's a terrible actress. They say she, you know what? I did see something, not the whole movie, but Devil, something about their Devil, their, some, some stupid movie where she played a devil or something. Oh my goodness. I did watch a few clips. My goodness. Yeah. I agree. She suck. <laughs> yeah. So now she's making movies where her son, who's the director and the writer, and she's, Doing all these sex scenes in them. Yeah. I guess she's hard up for work. I don't know. But these two are weirdos. But I will leave you guys with these comments. Oh, man. These comments are going in. These comments are eating them up. These people are not playing with these two freaks. <laughs> and I'm here for it. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like. Please share. Please hit the subscribe button because I like to talk about things that most people are not talking about. I like to bring out these exclusive things that people are not talking about. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.